Let's draw the anterior or the frontal view of the skull. Let's first draw the outline. So we're just going to draw the general outline. All the way around. Then let's add the orbits. Pretty consistent. And some of the bones from the lateral view that we've already covered, but we'll review. The jaws and the teeth. Complete the parts. And finally, the details of the orbits in the nasal area. So we're going to add some detail. Some detail, the other eye orbit. and then the nasal area. And the septum. in the lower part of the septum. So I'll add some of the sutures to finish. The foramen. Okay. That's our general outline. Now let's begin to color. So we will start by first checking that our bones are, the shapes are complete. Uh, we will start with the frontal bone. So we're coloring our frontal bone yellow and then uh, we will color the maxilla 
and we will color the maxilla butterscotch. There we go. So the mandible, um, but we will color the mandible light green. And now the parietal bone. Um, we can see a bit of the parietal bone. <clears throat> Remember the parietal, parietal means the walls of a hollow organ. So we will color that green. There. Now next, the temporal bone. The temporal bone, remember, will be along the temples and we'll color that blue. And our temporal our temporal, temporal bone is along to the side. And along to the side here. Give that a little more color. And next, the zygomatic bone. The zy zygomatic bone, we will color it light purple. Let's see, I'm trying to find the correct color. There we go, that's close. So we have zygomatic. And we have a completed zygomatic here. Okay, so remember the zygomatic is the cheekbone. And then the sphenoid bone, um, the neurocranium and the posterior of the orbit. And we're going to color the sphenoid bone red. We need to complete this shape. Light the shape here. Okay, um, now we're going to begin um, <clears throat> coloring some bones we haven't talked about yet. Uh, the nasal bone is a pair of fused bones at the top of the nasal area. It's where your glasses rest on your nose. So we will color the nasal bone pink. So I will select that color. And there's our nasal bone. Next, the ethmoid bone. The ethmoid means sieve or strainer. And we have the ethmoid bone at the orbital plate, the mi middle nasal concha, and the perpendicular plate. So there are actually three different areas we have the ethmoid. So now we will color the ethmoid bone. The ethmoid covers the orbital plate, the middle nasal con concha. So now we will so now we will color the ethmoid bone. The ethmoid covers the orbital plate, the middle nasal concha, and the perpendicular plate. Ethmoid means sieve or strainer. So the bone is porous in areas. So we will color the ethmoid dark red. So we've colored the orbital plate. Now the middle nasal concha. And 
and now the lateral plate, which would be the beginning of the septum. So begin the beginning of the septum. There. And now the inferior nasal concha. We will color that gr a green yellow. So the inferior nasal concha. And finally, the vomer. The vomer we will color cyan. So I will find cyan in my colors. There's pure cyan. It will complete structure. And there's the vomer. The vomer is part of the nasal septum. The nasal septum is made of the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone at the top and the vomer. Vomer means plowshare at the bottom. So the vomer is a single plowshare bone which divides the nasal cavity. So now we have a completed coloring for the skull and we will move to a close-up of the orbital so you can become more familiar with the specific bones in the orbital. In part two, we viewed the skull from a frontal view. And in part three, the orbital close-up, we will clarify the position of the bones within the orbital.